Hey guys, I'm here today to do a very quick walkthrough of a new planner that I purchased today. Um, this is the Molsky, Molskine, Moleskin, whatever you want to call it, Weekly Notebook Diary Planner 2014-15. It's the 18-month version, and I believe that this is the large version and it is the hardback it does come in softback as well i want to quickly show you what it looks like on the inside i've been looking all over the place on pinterest instagram and youtube for users who talk almost specifically about moleskine planners and agendas but i'm having a hard time so you know i'm I've thought, you know, maybe there's somebody out here who's looking for this type of planner but wants to see what's in it and can't find it. So here I am. This first page just says, in case of loss, please return to, and then it has in a line for a reward, Moleskin Weekly Notebook 2014-2015, and then it has a personal data page. After that, we have a year at a glance for 2000, the remainder of 2014 all of 2015 and all of 2016 and what that looks like is basically they give you the month the date and the day for the entire month so that you can do planning ahead so this is the year at a glance for 2015 2016 and then it goes right into the 2015 glance after the year at glance we have a ton of pages that have a lot of information and a lot of different type of planning this is called the travels planning pages and the memo and then this begins the reference pages this is a world map with time zones listed down below and then we go into all the type of stuff you'd find in a file of facts so these are flight durations and dialing codes international measurements and volumes and temperatures and speed and just a ton of different information. After that is um, an interesting page that I don't really know how to utilize. It is timetable. So it says time and then it has the days of the week. And it's just like a giant grid. I guess this would be good to, I guess, chunk out my week as far as school goes. And it gives you, I believe, yep, one other. If you guys have seen people or have suggestions for how I can utilize this, please let me know. I'm always looking for feedback. And then we get into the actual planning part of the notebook. The layout of this notebook is why I decided to go ahead and purchase it. So on the left-hand side, you have the week laid out. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday, of course. And then the opposite page is just a blank piece of paper with lines. I keep saying blank, I mean lined paper. And the reason I decided that this layout may work for me is because I love bullet journaling and I will be able to use the lined part portion of the planner for bullet journaling. Now this is a quick uh, segue into another um, journal that I can show you. This is what I tried to use to bullet journal exclusively. So here we have this was March. So I have my March monthly layout and then I moved into my actual planning. I liked it a lot. The thing that didn't work out for me is that I had to do this myself and that sounds really weird and maybe a little superficial in a way, but I like planners that are pre-printed. I don't like things that I have to, you know, write out for myself because I know somewhere down the line I'm going to make a mistake. I'm going to write a date wrong. I'm going to get the day wrong or the date wrong and I'm just going to screw myself up completely. So this seemed like a fair compromise and that is just how the planner is for the remainder of the 18 months. Now I will say the one thing I don't like about this is that there is no monthly spread. It's just week by week by week. I can't see any month at a glance. That being said, if you guys know of a planner that is similar to this, has the same weekly layout but has a month um, put in for every month, please let me know because I'm, you know, I'm be really beginning to seriously try to roll out planners in an attempt to find a system that's correct for me. I know that Ringbound doesn't work for me. Um, I know that the Erin Condren and the Whitney Englishes, they don't work for me. Um, so now I'm down to like, you know, the Target brands, the Moleskines, that kind of thing. Now at the back of the planner, there is a pocket that you can put some things in. Typically, 
Moleskine's always came with a set of stickers, and that is not true for this. There was nothing in it as far as stickers go. However, there was a, um, an address book. As usual, there's this little pamphlet of information about Moleskine and then the quality control sticker. So that's about it as far as my walkthrough goes. Again, if you know of any YouTubers who do Moleskine videos, let me know. If you have any blogs that you follow, um, Instagram people, whatever. Have a great day. Bye.